Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I do have a filter on. Um, I thought it was cute and I wanted to use it. But um, I had to redo the intro because film got lost, whatever. I edited it, it's fine. Um, hold on, just anyways, there we go. So you can actually see the look that I did. Um, this was supposed to be a recreation and it didn't turn out that way. So I got a little motivation from the picture that I found. Like I said, I did not know who to give credit to. So if you know who it is or you know who did the work, just leave it in my comments and I will fix everything and leave it in the bio for the video. But I hope you all like it. I really had fun doing this look. Um, of course, I did it with caution because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. But um, I think I did a pretty good job. So if you want to learn how I did this look, just stay tuned. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I am trying to make more videos. I'm very busy, but I'm trying to get them out. And um, I hope you guys like it. Right. It's this one right here. I have no idea. Excuse my dirty phone. No idea who to give this credit to. I found it on Pinterest. And oh my God, she is. Beautiful. So I want to try to do that today. And as you can see, it's already it's already going. But for my brows, I used um, a brow pencil called Top Brow um, by Kiss Professionals. I used my Born This Way concealer in the shade uh, not Maple, but Mocha. I use this right here and for the top of my brows I did conceal them and I used Tarte Creaseless Concealer for that and my primer I used Too Faced Hangover Primer and for my little eyes I'm using I might need another palette I just realized um, Morphe palette from um, Jaclyn Hill. I mean, from Morphe by Jaclyn Hill. However, you know what I'm trying to say. But I was using Rush. I'm going to finish using it on uh, this side and then use the other side. And then I'm going to use Alert because it is a darker orange. And I just like that one better. Um, you can see it better. But yes. Uh When I put this little framed color on, I feel like it's the same. Though. I just have to be really careful about placing it. It's more on her outer crease right here. I'm going to actually... Oh, I'm so, so nervous. Um, I'm going to actually take a smaller... Here we go. A smaller... This is my e.l.f. brush. It's a crease brush. It's more um, dense, and I'm going to take that, oh, hold on, maybe, it's not holding that.
like to make sure everything else is fine so I don't have to go back in later. I'm just taking my brushes that I already used. Like this one had a lot of alert and rush on it. So I don't want to dip back in. I just want to make sure it's still where I put it in the first place. Because things disappear. So I'm going to take super scary. I'm going to take Mocha by uh, Born This Way. Their new shade of concealer. Cut creases always like worry me because you sit there and you do all the blending. You should work really hard to make it look a certain way, and then if it's like messed up, you're just like, but I'm gonna take it on this flat brush that I have. tuning in I hope you can um, see my makeup a lot better this time I know people were saying that the quality wasn't great and all this stuff like that I have to record on my computer for now until I can figure out my camera situation so I'm sorry about that but I try to like get close so you can see that everything's like blended and you know looking a lot better you know in real time I do have my ring light like I said as you can see in my pupils it is right there and um, yeah and I moved so there's just background behind me ignore my TV right here I don't know where to put it but like subscribe and everything like that thank you thank you thank you for tuning in and uh, come back this is me peace